welcome. Hello, everybody. This is GM Grant, and welcome to the very first video ever recorded for my brand new YouTube channel. If you have somehow stumbled upon this by accident, you are in for a treat, as how many people accidentally stumble upon the inaugural video of a channel in its infancy, you have the chance to get in on the ground floor and be part of something, if not amazing, uh, at least present, you will be here. You could even mash out the word FIRST in all caps if you are the first person to hit that subscribe button. I will upload that comment so hard. So welcome everybody. Again, GM Grant, brand new channel. Hopefully going to be covering primarily sports management games. I've been playing sports management games for a long time now. I'm not great at them, but I do find them highly entertaining. I'm very passionate about them. I have dabbled in almost every kind of sports management game you can think of. From hockey, baseball, American football, the classic FM games, and a few ones that you may not have recognized or noticed before. So that's kind of the goal. We're going to be sticking, hopefully, mostly to that. We're going to try to get this channel off the ground. Um, I have recently been affiliated with gmgames.org. We're going to be doing a little bit of writing for them. Maybe some videos in the future, depending on how this side project goes. So they kind of got me back onto YouTube. This is not my first stint on YouTube, though it has been a while. The previous ventures were hobby projects. They taught me a lot. They were very interesting, and I had a lot of fun. So I figured, why not give it a go? I've got the experience, I've got the passion, and there is still a pretty wide open vacuum on YouTube for sports management games, especially ones that are not in the mainstream. Football Manager and Out of the Park Baseball get a lot of play on YouTube, but games such as the one we're about to take a look at here, CT Football Manager, uh, Baseball Mogul, some of the draft day sports games, they get very little to no play, but they're very good games in their own right, so I um, want to start covering some of those games, maybe get a few, you know, a little bit of dynasties going, we'll see how it goes, we'll see what the viewership is like, what you guys want to see, how you want to see it, and, you know, we'll, we'll go from there. So, again, welcome, first video, brand new channel, that being said, I'm going to be a tad rusty. I am a millennial. I do know my way around a computer, so there should not be anything too egregious going on there, but I will uh, let you know now that at the time of recording this, there is a global pandemic going on that has kept us all locked inside. I have had some plans to upgrade a few things with my setup, but have not gotten around to doing that because of the pandemic. The primary one being the microphone, there might be some audio issues. I don't expect there to be anything too terrible, but I will let you know that my microphone quality is a solid okay. It's not bad or should not be bad. If it is bad, please, please let me know in the comments below. It should just be okay. So we're kind of we're kind of trying it out. It's it's not a bad microphone. It is not great. You might hear some unsavory uh, lip smacking or drinking sounds. That is because my microphone is not the best. I do plan on upgrading it in the near future, depending on how everything goes. But right now, I cannot frequent my normal uh, establishments without the potential of being quarantine shamed, which. I'm being good and staying inside, which is why I have time on my hands to start this video. So, without further ado, let's jump in here and let's uh, let's look at this game. So, we are covering CT Football Manager XX, which I'm assuming this is a placeholder for the version number. 
the version number you can see down here in the bottom right, is not 0.6.1. It is an open development. This is a free game offered to us by the creators over at CT Games. They are a small... <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. They are a small coding team, uh, two or three people, I believe. They're building this from scratch as a sort of passion project, if you will. Um, you can look them up. Just Google CT Games, itch.io, or CT Football Manager. It pops right up. It is a free game available on their itch page. I suggest take a look at it. it. It's got a lot of potential. It's got some good bones. I've fooled around with it a little bit. Uh, nothing too extensive. I'm not going to be an expert by any means, but I am excited that there is a college football manager on the market that someone is developing. Um, Draft Day Sports has a good college football management series. And then the other one was pretty much just bullbound college football, which Gray Dog Software, they're, they're a good outfit, um, but they're, that game's old. Uh, I think we're getting on 15, 20 years old, something like that. It's It's from... The early knots, early 2000s, um, if I if I remember correctly. So we're gonna take a look at this game today. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna start off or go over some of the features, um, start our profile, and uh, we'll see where we go from there. So uh, settings not yet implemented. I don't know what this is gonna mean in the future. What kind of settings they're gonna have? Here are the credits. Uh, three developers right now, they're doing a good job, and then uh, special thanks to gmgames.org, because we will be covering them as they grow, because um, we see a lot of promise here, and over, we are passionate about good sports management games, so, start a new game, create our profile, it's going to be GM Grant, we're going to be kind of a, a younger coach, um, so we're going to put ourselves at about 30 years old, we're going to start at a Try to start at a um, mid mid level program and see how it goes from there. Uh, I don't really care. We'll be born Fourth of July. How's that? <coughs> Ooh, oh, I'm sorry about that. All right. So as you can see here, I do have the real conferences in the game. Um, this is a mod that has been posted over at GMGames.org. It's very simple to install. I there might be instructions on YouTube already. I can go into it in another video if you guys want. It is as simple as downloading the mod and deleting the current data folder in the game and replacing it with the, the new data folder. And that's it. It does not have real rosters as far as I know. It is just real bowl names, real team names, and real team prestige. So the Alabamas and the Clemsons will be good, and the trash teams will be trash, and that should all be relatively realistic. Whoever made this mod, it looks sharp. I like how it looks. The, the logos look good. You have the, the prestige here. Liberty University. They even got that one in there. Their, their football program's pretty new, if I remember correctly. So... I live in Florida. Full disclosure, I'm a Florida Gators fan. I will not be playing as the Gators right now. Um, I love the SEC. I'm intimately familiar with the SEC, so I was thinking about potentially doing an SEC start, maybe like a Mississippi State, someone who's, you know, could be there, maybe, you know, with the right couple recruits and a couple of good years under our belt. The SEC West right now is just brutal. Um, Mississippi State currently is being coached by Mike Leach. I thought that was an interesting pickup. Mike Leach from Wazoo, air raid coach, coming to Mississippi State, which has traditionally recently been a power run game program. So we'll see how that goes. Very interesting. And then you've got Old Miss, uh, Lane Kiffin. Came back to the SEC to coach Old Miss, so this year the Egg Bowl is going to be lit. It's going to be litty, at least uh, in the Twitter and meme entertainment value, if nothing else. You got Jimbo Fisher still at Texas A&M, obviously national champions LSU Tigers. Auburn still kicking around. They had a good program last year, and then you got poor Arkansas, who 
probably continuously wonders why they ever left their mid-major conference all those years ago, because they've just been crushed recently, and it's not good. So we will not be playing as Arkansas. I just wanted to go over that. I do love the SEC. I could talk about the SEC all day. I don't want to bore you. I know that there are some people that do not like the SEC. Let's see. American. We could start the American. Could be fun to play as, you know, UCF maybe. So could could we get them there to where they want to be? Houston as a good program. ACC is all trash. Florida State's, you know, got a historically good program. Clemson, obviously, has been on the up. Everyone else in the ACC has been on the down, down, down. Big 12's a mess. There's only 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 teams in the Big 12. They just got their conference championship game because they didn't have one, and not having a conference championship game has kept them uh out of some of the playoffs when they should have been in in my opinion but they keep letting oklahoma in because they're the de facto number one team right now and they are not ready for prime time in my opinion again won't get too much in that mike gundy osu that could be a fun one we might pick oklahoma state but as you can see these logos look great all of the the uh the Prestige levels are about in line with where I would expect them to be. Minnesota should have gotten a boost after last year, maybe by one star. Illinois and Rutgers, like one star programs. Central USA, this is kind of your mid majors. Everyone in here is pretty much trash. FAU's decent. Um, at least under Lane Kiffin, I think they won the CUSA conference every year that he was there. Um, let's see, Mac, also a mid, mid-major mid program. Someone like uh, Northern Illinois or Western Michigan could be fun. They're a little low um, on the totem pole, but it could be a good ladder climbing experience. Mount West, they all right. They all right. They're okay. And then the Pac-12, they have been a mess recently. Nothing too great going on out there. Uh, UCLA and USC, traditionally the big programs in the uh, Pac-12 South have been down. Um, the UCLA and I think it was Washington State last year had that ridiculous game of 77 to 72 or something. Just ridiculous. Uh, if you like offense, it was it was a treat, but not good football. If the scores are that high, someone is playing bad football somewhere. Anyways, don't want to be in the Pac-12. I think I'm going to avoid the SEC for right now. And then we got the Sun Belt. Eh, you know. Bad. They're bad. Raging Cajuns. They're... Raging Cajun is another YouTuber who has been uh, trying to stream and, and play some of these, these sports management games that are off the beaten path a little bit. He's good. Check him out. Um, spelled just like that. Uh, so I'll plug him there just because uh, the opportunity presents itself. App State's probably the best team in this conference. Uh, they were actually ranked last year, which is surprising. But that being said, I think we are going to play as Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State is a good program. Mike Gundy is a good coach, if not a strange man. They're always really close to being good, and, and the Big 12's been kind of wide open for years now, and they just can't pull it together. They will upset a top-five team one week and lose to a bottom-five team the next week. I don't understand. Uh, they did have Chubba Hubbard, uh, number one running back in the country last year. I believe he's coming back this year, too. So anyway, so... We have made our profile. We have loaded into the game. We can kind of see here. This is your um, your starting screen. I do like the interface overall. It's kind of got like an old school look, but it, it's it's pretty clean. So up here we've got uh, uh, the day that you debuted and were hired. You got your reputation, team expectations. So for Oklahoma State this year, our expectation is to qualify for a major bowl. I don't know what this game counts as a major bowl. Are they counting it like New Year's Six or, you know, just one of the ones whose sponsor you actually recognize? 
Uh, you kind of got your overall stats over here, uh, games, wins, losses, and then your accomplishments. I'm guessing this will fill in as you play. Uh, number of bowl appearances, maybe? Bowl wins, I'm not sure. Uh, championships, and then rivalry trophies. Um, da -da -da -dum. There was a way to see... Yes, okay. So if we go to our team overview, it tells us what our rivalry is. It's, of course, Oklahoma Sooners in the Bedlam series. Oh, wow, okay, this is cool. It's got a little mouse over. I didn't, re I didn't notice that before. 1904 is when the rivalry started. We've had 113 meetings, and the trophy is the Bedlam Bell. Very cool. That's all from the mod, so good, good work, mod makers. Um, so this is kind of your uh, team overview. And, you know, obviously we're in Stillwater. It's got uh, the staff down here. I don't know how much control over staff that we're going to have as we go through this. Like I said, I've played around with it a little bit. Um, nothing too crazy just to get the lay of the land. And we're kind of uh, going to go through this together. So if you go to our emails here, uh, welcome to the team. Uh, let's see, Fox will broadcast her game against Army in week one. Oh, that's cool, we're opening against Army, so let's uh, go over and take a look at our schedule here. So we do open uh, with Army at home. No, actually we're on the road. That's, uh, in real life that would be poor scheduling, but I'll take it. <sighs> Drinking some coffee, don't mind me. And then week two, on the road against Alabama, aye, aye, aye. And then we're on the road against UTSA in the Alamo Dome. Hoy vey. And then we're on the road against Arkansas State. And then we're finally, our home opener is not until September 28th against the Georgia State Panthers. That is an interesting start to the season here. Very interesting. Um, looking at this, where are our conference games there's um future opponents so next year we got texas iowa state texas tech oklahoma tcu kansas state so here's our normal slate of conference games that we're supposed to have but then this year we have no conference games um, so something is wrong there. Um, I don't know if that's the mod or the game. I'm guessing it's a little bit of both, but the game should have noticed that we have no conference games and should not have let that schedule be approved. Um, that's weird. I've never had this issue before. We are going to run with it, because why not? We're testing out this game. It is version not point six point one, so there is room for improvements. Like I said, I do like the interface. I think it's got good bones. And as you can see here, this is our uh, Big 12 slate of opponents, and we have none of them on our schedule, so I do not know how that is going to work. I do not know if the game is going to break, if it is going to allow us to continue, but we are going to find out here together... I've decided we are going to at least sim through this first season to see how this goes. <sighs> right, so back to the emails here. Recruiting budget, we have about a million dollars for recruiting. And our season kickoff game will be um, North Texas Mean Green and the SMU Mustangs. So uh, kind of a Texas Bowl. Uh, looks like ESPN has selected that to be the kickoff game. Very interesting. Again, this is, you know, from the mod. It's cool that they have ESPN in here at all. And if you go to, I'll show you next episode, when you start simming games, it actually has the TV logos, um, who's broadcasting it, which I think is a nice touch for immersiveness. So if we go back here to our overview, and then we go to our squad here, we will do a in-depth squad overview next game um, once we kind of get in here so this is our entire squad here you got a lot of players 98 which seems like a little bit heavy but we'll we'll go through it we got to go through and red shirt some of our freshmen of which we have a lot holy crap we have a lot of freshmen some good ones too it's a four-star punter 
two four-star punters. Uh, <laughs> that, I mean, punters are people too, but dang. So two four-star punters, a four-star free safety, four-star quarterback, three four-star punters. We are going to have to go through this roster. Oh, my Lord. Uh, <laughs> and a three-star punter. How many punters do we have? Oh, my Lord. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight punters. Wait, wait, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We do. We have eight punters. <laughs> they all look like they are freshmen and sophomores. So <laughs> I don't know what's going on with the auto-generated teams. I know that we get to pick um, who gets a scholarship. Um, at some point in the near future, we get to select who gets a full scholarship, who gets to stay as a walk-on, so on and so forth. So maybe we can cut some of these people going forward. It seems like we start with a lot of players. Um, that's one of my gripes with the game. We'll get into it. I, I don't mean to get off the beaten path. Is that, that screen that you pick who gets a scholarship kind of jumps out of nowhere. Um, and it right now, as you can see here, you can click on the players and I'll bet on that screen where you're picking who gets a scholarship. You cannot click on the player. So you're kind of in the dark. So you kind of have to know ahead of time who you want to cut, which is hard when there's a hundred players. Um, it, it's, it's, you'll see, we'll, we'll, we'll get into it. But this is the uh, this is our squad screen. We have our depth chart here. You got a full depth chart. Um, again, the bones are good. I like where they're going. The interface is clean. It's functional. You can switch out the players. Um, it kind of compares them, which I really like. So, for example, if we're going to our you know our our slot cornerback, and we got Philip Hines starting, but we can go down through here. These are all the cornerbacks we have. Um, I believe the ones without the arrows mean they're already in the depth chart so we can go to jordan boring for example and then we can kind of compare you know this guy's faster he's got better awareness um the green numbers are, are some of his better things so he's a great run tackling corner so you kind of want him playing up close to the line um especially with 86 pass coverage and 90 discipline so he would be a great press corner kind of a run run stopping cornerback but it's 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 nice that it, it kind of gives you this nice comparison screen. I do like that a lot. Um, special teams, we're gonna have a dearth of punters apparently to choose from, which is very very nice. All right, so um, records. This will fill in as we go through our season. Uh, our draft picks. If we get players drafted, it will make a note for us, which is kind of cool. So if we, we try to want to build prestige through getting players drafted to, to get our recruiting uh, chops up in the future, it's very cool. We looked at the schedule already. It's it's a mess. It's all messed up. We're going to see how that plays out when our Big 12 record is zero games played, zero wins, and zero losses. We will see how the game reacts. And then our future opponents, I do really, 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 really like this um, feature here. As you can see, it's got the next five years out, uh, and you get to schedule your own games, which I think is super cool. I like this a lot. Um, this looks like they have not filled in any games. So, for example, next season, we start with Texas. It's going to be a big game, probably televised. That'll be a pretty big first week one game for any college program as a big in-conference in rival. So... For our next game, we can go to request game, and we get all of the available people that are open that week that could possibly play us. So, if we wanted to, so if we were like an Alabama, for example, or maybe the Florida Gators, and we're making a run at the college football playoff, you could start at Texas, and then you could schedule a game with Alabama or Clemson, you know, or or a Florida State, and just make a big early season splash, you know. So think about if if this was. Real life, you know, starting against Texas and then uh, Alabama. Whether you win or lose, as long as you don't go 0 and 2, you're gonna look pretty good for having a tough opening uh, season schedule. So I really like that. Or you know, uh, on the other side of things, if if you think that you could win 
you know, the Big 12, or if you're in a conference that is kind of weak and you feel like you could win just within conference play, um, you can schedule some cupcake teams. So say after Texas, you, you know, Mike Gundy or GM Grant, whoever's coaching the Stillwater uh, in Stillwater right now, you want a cupcake to eat after opening at Texas. That's going to be a big emotional game. Uh, why don't we pick, uh, I don't know, Utah State, you know, UTEP. You can pick a, a cupcake team next, which obviously is probably going to be an easy win, um, but might hurt your season prestige. So I do like this a lot. You can kind of, I don't know how far out you need to schedule, like if we only need to do 2020 or we need to do like two or three years right now. Um, so you kind of can tailor, so for example, if we do really well this year, we might want to think about scheduling a, a good game for our week two, or if we're doing kind of poorly, maybe get that cupcake lined up in there, but I do like this control over your schedule, I think it's really cool, it's fairly realistic, this would be more of an athletic director type role in the real world, but I do like, um, how it looks right now, and then we can click on other teams, Oh, it actually shows their future opponents, too. Oh, that is very cool. That is very, very cool. I do like that. Um, but yeah, so you can kind of get the overview of any other team as well. I don't like how you can see their their squad. I know there's not any scouting right now in the game for in, in-world players, so I, I don't really like how there's no fog of war, if you will. Um, but we just you know, won't look at that. So that's kind of the overview um, of the main stuff. We've got uh, tactics right now. It's pretty simple. Play callers or coordinators. You can do, you can set a slider of how much running and passing you want to do. Um, it's pretty basic. I haven't fooled around with the create a play yet. So. Okay. Huh. Yeah, we might we might fool around with that. I'm not going to say that I'm a master play smith because I'm not. Uh, <laughs> generally, in these games, I don't even like to call my own plays. I just kind of like to let it play out, let the coordinators do it. I'll step in where I feel like I have to, kind of like a traditional NFL coach that you know overviews the game but doesn't get too much in the nitty gritty in terms of play calling. So that's that. It's Right now, it's fairly basic. Again, I see the bones for something good. Here, we have the standings. Again, I don't know how this is going to work with us being uh, not playing a single conference game this year, unless I really missed something, and you guys can point it out if I did. You can see all conferences. Um, if it doesn't freeze, yes, here we go. So you can kind of see the list of everybody. You can break it down by conference. You can go see, you know, who's winning the SEC. You can look at the transfer portal, potential bowls, um, and the payout you'll get. It's it's very cool. Like I said, they they've got a lot in here. This mod has done a fantastic job in filling in all of the logos and names and things of that nature. And then recruiting, which next episode we probably will just do a um, squad overview and kind of a recruiting overview. Recruiting is pretty cool. Uh, we get 30 recruits to, to target at once. You can sort by interest. Um, so, excellent interest. We got a couple of three-star players we might want to take a look at, a linebacker and a cornerback, which would be kind of cool. This guy's only a freshman right now in high school, so we won't be able to actively recruit him. We can only watch him, but the senior we could potentially make an offer to. We will get into all of that. It's got a Decent system so far. I haven't had too many issues with it, fooling around with it. Um, again, I'm going to sound like a broken record. Bones are good. Interface looks good um, so far. And then we got our calendar, which uh, it's got preseason poll. There are full top 25 rankings, which I always enjoy. Um, senior visit day for some of our recruits that you know we've invited to visit. And then we have the games that start kicking off at the end of August. Um, no conference games again. I don't know why that happened. Maybe I'll try to reload the game to see if we can get a conference schedule going. Um, just reload as OSU have the game regenerate. We'll see. And then our very basic settings right now. You can do Imperial or Metric. Auto saving. I'm going to turn that on to yes. And then mail on injuries, yes. Save changes. And then you can also save the game from in here. So 
that's kind of that. Uh, I'm sorry if that was a little rambly, long-winded. Again, I'm a little rusty. If you've made it to the end of this first video, I want to give you my thanks. You have earned a milestone in that you have watched the entirety of the first video on this channel, and I do appreciate that. Leave any feedback down below. We are going to get into actual gameplay next episode. I just kind of wanted to work the vocal cords up and... Uh, I work my way back into this. So this is again CT College Football Manager, CT Football Manager. Find it on their itch.io page. Maybe download it, fool around with it yourself. I like it a lot. Um, we'll see how the actual simulation goes, but so far everything has been going very well. And I will see you next time. Thank you, folks, for watching, and uh, we'll get right back to it.